Hi friends, welcome to Inquest, in-depth analysis and to the point. In this video, let us discuss about 2nd October 2021 daily current affairs. And this activity is useful for your UPSC, KPSC and all other competitive examinations. Dear friends, the content that we will be discussing here will be given in the form of PDF in the description box in this video. You may also download the same after watching the video. And let's see the index of today's discussion. Number one, India-Sri Lanka joint military exercise that is titled as Mitra Shakti 21. Number two, OPSPA, that is Armed Forces Special Powers Act extended in Arunachal Pradesh. Number three, IUCN, International Union for Conservation of Nature, favors the motion to protect Great Indian Buster. So Great Indian Buster is critically endangered species in India. And there is a favor from International Union for Conservation of Nature in favor of the motion to protect it. Motion in the sense, uh, the IUCN actually influences and guides the policy of conservation of these species that are critically endangered. Uh, article number four, the, we will be discussing about the Lang Nagaland, uh, Nagaland to celebrate Hornbill Festival. So this is the state uh, festival of Nagaland. Uh, difference now, let us discuss each and every article in detail. So first article is related to Ministry of Defense. Indian contingent departs for Sri Lanka joint exercise that is titled as Mitra Shakti 21. This is the eighth edition of India Sri Lanka bilateral joint exercise Mitra Shakti will be conducted at combat training school Ampara in Sri Lanka from 4th to 15th October 2021. An all arms contingent of 120 personnel of the Indian army will participate in the exercise along with the with a battalion of the Sri Lankan army. So from India, 120 personnel of Indian army will be participating in the event and there will be participation from the battalion of the Sri Lankan army as well. The aim of the exercise is to promote close relations between armies of both countries and enhance their interoperability and sharing best practices in counter-insurgency and counter-terrorism operations. The main two objectives of this particular exercise is to share their uh, you know, practices in the areas of counter-insurgency and counter-terrorism operations. And the previous uh, exercise similar to this was held in uh, India. Uh, that is the seventh edition of exercise Mitra Shakti was conducted at foreign training training node that is in short called as FTN Pune Maharashtra in India in the year 2019. So after 2019, similar kind of an uh, exercise that is eighth edition will be held in Sri Lanka in the year 2021. So there was no event in 2020 due to COVID. So let's uh, move on to the next article that is related to OPSPA that is Armed Forces Special Powers Act. Now, uh, what is the news, latest news about this? Uh, particularly to the state of uh, Arunachal Pradesh, the, there has been extension of OPSPA in three districts and two police jurisdictions. So this extension will be given whenever any area is declared as disturbed area and this tag is given in a view of insurgent activities. Dear friends, we have made a detailed video on OPSPA. So if you want to know the complete information of OPSPA, you can click the I button on this video or we will have given video link in the description box. So you may click to watch or to get the complete information of OPSPA. But here in this uh, video, we will be discussing only the issue. The center has uh, declared three districts of Arunachal Pradesh. So three districts of Arunachal Pradesh and areas falling under two police stations in another district disturbed under the Armed Forces Act for six more months in a view of insurgent activities and review of law and order situation there. So what do you mean by disturbed area? Disturbed area in the sense there will be a lot of civil unrest which is beyond the capacity of the local police to handle. So in, that, in those circumstances, the either central government or state government can declare those areas as disturbed. So when such areas are disturbed, I mean declared as disturbed, then OPSPA will be implemented. So similar to this, three districts in Arunachal Pradesh and two police stations, uh, uh, which for, you know the areas that are falling under uh, two police station jurisdictions are declared as disturbed, and OPSPA will be extended for six more months. Now. 
uh, earlier uh, there were more police stations uh, they were under the you know control of apspa now two police station limits will be you know revoked with respect to apspa so let us see which are all the two police stations where the apspa will be revoked the union home ministry's notification will be effective from october 1 2021 to march 31 2022 this is for the first time after a very long period that the apspa will not be applicable to two police stations each in two districts one is lower dibang and one is lohit so in these two districts the police stations will not be under the control of apspa in a view of the improved security situation since there is improved security situation so these two districts have been revoked of apspa now now what is the history of apspa with respect to arunachal pradesh the central government in exercise of powers conferred by section 3 of the armed forces act 1958 had declared the tirap changlang longding districts of arunachal pradesh and the area falling within the jurisdiction of four police stations so earlier it was four police stations two in uh, namsai district one each in uh, lower dibang and uh, lohit districts of the state bordering assam as disturbed area through a notification on april 1 2021 so the police uh, stations that are in the you know namsai district the apspa is going to continue but uh, the apspa will be revoked in the districts of dibang and uh, lohit as for the new extension now when will apspa be valid if apspa apspa has to be valid now what is the condition for apspa to become valid an area however needs to be declared disturbed either by the central or the state government under section 3 of the 1958 act so with this let's move on to the news number 3 iucn international union for conservation of nature favors of motion to protect great indian bustard great indian bustard is a critically endangered bird uh, that is uh, mostly in india so in a significant development towards protection and conservation efforts with a v the great indian bustard in short called as gib the world conservation congress that is wcc hosted by the international union for the conservation of nature iucn voted in favor of a motion for the species on the verge of extinction at wcc held in marisil marisile france from september 3 to 11 2021 the members assembly voted in favor of the motion titled preventing the extinction of the great bustard the the scientific uh, name of this bird is ardiotis nigriceps in india and who who initiated this the carbet foundation actually this is a member of iucn and one of the leading conservations organization in india took the lead in uh, proposing this motion in the year uh, 2019 so this is initiated as i told you before the carbet foundation so see this carbet foundation is a member of iucn and this motion went for online voting in 2020 so this went for an uh, you know online voting in the year 2020 and thus it became a resolution in september 2020 2021 at the world conservation congress so after online voting so there was a resolution passed in uh, september 2021 at world conservation congress and the resolution preventing the extinction of the great indian bustard in india would help to further intensify and strengthen the effort to conserve and protect the last surviving population of these majestic birds the motions are the mechanism by which members of iucn influence and guide the policy of conservation program so when uh, there is a resolution so this uh, you know creation of motion is going to create a mechanism by which the members of iucn are going to influence and guide the policy of conservation programs uh, where are they present right now so uh, listed as critically endangered less than 150 gibs remain in the wild today mainly in india so in india so they are uh, present in uh, rajasthan gujarat maharashtra karnataka and andhra pradesh while a few sporadically reported in 
Kolistan parts of Pakistan sporadically uh, means a very less number of birds are also reported in Kolistan parts of Pakistan adjoining the states of Rajasthan and Gujarat. So why the number of these uh, great Indian bustards is getting you know, lower? So in the last couple of decades, the steep decline in the population of great Indian bustard in the last few decades is primarily due to their collision with the over, overhead power lines. So this is what, so the birds collision with the, uh, you know, overhead power lines is one of the main reasons why the population or the number of these birds is getting reduced. And that is not all. It is important to note that in addition to the existing power lines, renewable energy projects have also come up at large scale around the Tar Desert, Rajasthan, Kutch, Gujarat, and in other range states of the species such as Maharashtra. So not only the power lines, along with existing power lines, one more reason is the renewable energy projects is also one of the reasons why the number of birds have been decreasing, has been decreasing. This situation results in rapid increase of overhead power lines. So due to these uh, projects, there will be increase in overhead power lines and uh, power line networks in and around the habitat of the buster. So when the these uh, overhead uh, power lines numbers, uh, you know, increase uh, in the habitat that is going to make these birds, uh, the number of birds uh, getting reduced recently. In addition to the collusion with power lines, so not only this is not the only reason, there are other main reasons also. Apart from this, uh, the loss of habitat, hunting, uncontrolled livestock grazing, then predation by feral dogs, changing crop pattern. So whenever there is change in crop pattern, so they will not get the food, uh, which actually they are dependent upon. Then uh, indiscriminate use of pesticides and uh, conversion of grasslands and semi-arid regions. So these are also other reasons why the number of these birds have been decreasing, has been decreasing. So that are unfortunately categorized as you know, wastelands for development projects or agricultural encroachment are other reasons for the decline in the bustard number. So these are all the, you know, all the reasons why the number of, uh, you know, great Indian bustards is decreasing. So let's go to the news number four. So this is the last news of this video. So Nagaland to celebrate Hornbill Festival. So let's see the complete details of the same. So with the decline in uh, COVID-19 cases, the Nagaland government is gearing up, up to organize Hornbill Festival this year from December 1st. The festival is an annual tourism promotional event of the Nagaland government organized by the Department of Tourism and Art and Culture, showcasing the rich Naga tradition and culture at the Naga heritage village Kisama about 12 kilometers away from the state capital. So the main purpose of this festival is to exhibit annual tourism promotional event. So this is a kind of annual tourism promotional event. So this is going to be organized by the government itself and the department is tourism and art and culture. And this is an internationally recognized festival. So this, uh, you know, Hornbill Festival is internationally recognized festival and Nagas are very fortunate to have a very rich and colorful culture and tradition to attract tourists from around the world. Ahead of the Onbill festival, the state would also be hosting International Tourism Mart ITM for the very first time at the same venue from November 28 to November 30. It is organized by the Union Ministry of Tourism for promotion of tourism in Northeast region by showcasing the culture and tradition of eight Northeastern sta states, including Sikkim. So these are all the news uh, of this video. So if you have any questions, you can definitely put in comments box. We will be more than happy to answer to your questions. Thanks for watching.